It's another day in the Matrix, yeah. It's your boy Terrence Carter. TC Talks. TC Fitness. Grand rising to everybody. Happy Saturday. Back at it again with another video for y'all. Today's video, I'm going to give y'all like a... I guess like a part two. Like a counter punch. As to why like... You shouldn't quit your job in this economy. And you should... Um... Work your job and own assets instead of just you quitting. Now, let's just be thorough and real, bro. Like, everybody is not built to run a business. Everybody's not going to be an entrepreneur. Some people that are entrepreneurs, they'll tell you the truth. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world. Yes, it's very lucrative. Yes, you'll make a lot of money. But there's also a lot of responsibility. Now, this is not knocking any entrepreneur. Um... Even sometimes for myself, bro, I be considering myself an entrepreneur because I do Uber Eats, right? I don't have no boss. I don't have nobody telling me what to do. Um, I do YouTube. I try my best to reach a threshold on this YouTube platform, right? And then I invest into the stock market and I also created eBooks. So in some way, shape or form, I be considering myself that. But all I say token is like, <laughs> Cause I don't have like my own business You feel me Outside of YouTube But YouTube is just a platform Now anyway You shouldn't quit your job Because some people out there have families right So if you have a family Let's just say You got Kids Right for example You Like quitting your job in this economy Is not the smart thing to do Because like I told you on the last video, bro, like these jobs don't really care about you, right? They're not going to care about your mental well-being. And they damn sure going to keep on lying on Indeed. They're going to keep on lying on these job platforms. Um, telling you, oh, we're hiring. You know, but it's going to be you and like a thousand other candidates trying to get one position or a couple positions. You know, uh, and then like I told you, every year jobs do job cuts, so you have to you have to notice that as well. That these jobs do job cuts to, I guess, like save money, right? Keep profits so that they don't have to pay you, which is whack. You know. Um, another thing too, depending on like your location, it's not even dependent on your location, but. It's just the job, the job market is weak. You feel me? It's very, it's very weak and it's very like, it's just tougher. It's tougher out here, you know? Um, Now, if you are going to be a person like myself, right? And you're going, you um, work for the gig economy, right? You're going to work in the gig economy, not work for it. You're going to work in the gig economy, right? Let me put my charger in my pocket. You got to realize this. When you're out here in the gig economy, right? It's just you. It's just you and God. God and you. And every day, especially being self-employed, bro, you gotta realize that you literally just working for yourself. You know? You have to have, you know, a form of discipline. You gotta be strategic with your money. It's not always about how much money you make because if you're not teaching yourself how to keep money, if you're not teaching yourself how to invest money, then you're just making money and then you're just spending it. So you're getting it and it's going out as fast as you're getting it. You know? Um, the gig economy comes with its, with its days, right? You're going to have your good days. You're going to have your bad days. But the most important thing is that you live to see another day. You know? Um... You gotta pay attention to your market. You gotta pay attention to your location. Majority of customers nowadays, like I told y'all, bro, they're not tipping. And that's just me being bloody honest and real with y'all so that y'all know what y'all getting yourselves into. Okay? And you have to have a strong work ethic. Because once again, there is no, like, nobody's telling you what to do. You feel me? You, you, you're learning how to be your own boss and i feel like when people hear that they feel like oh i'm gonna be my own boss i ain't gotta do no work 
Nobody can tell me what to do. And I'm a Leo. I already don't like people telling me what to do. You feel me? But it's like you get to learn yourself, you know? And like I said, it's not the easiest thing to do. You, you, you're going to have your days and you, you may feel like, yo, I don't even feel like working today. Oh, I don't feel like doing this time the third. Because you don't got nobody on top of you. Like, telling you, you got to clock in today. You have to come in. You have to do this. You have to do that. So now you're just teaching yourself how to have a strong work ethic, how to go out here and grind, you know, how to appreciate the journey as a whole. And these gig acts don't care about us. That's another thing, too, you got you to gotta realize. Like, I'm just being honest with you. I don't care. The gig acts don't care about us, bruh. But you gotta, you gotta take smart deliveries. Like take deliveries that you feel like is a good payout for you. If you got a car, um, don't be taking like super far deliveries if the payout is trash. You feel me? Like be very considerate. Like be very mindful. All right. Um. And I tell you all the time, man. Make sure you're putting some of your money into some assets. Cause if you're not, then you just cooked. I ain't gonna front. Like you're literally just cooking yourself every day slowly. Because you're not even, you're not even keeping up with inflation. Like a savings account does not keep up with inflation. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care if you got thousand dollars saved. Even if you got ten grand saved in the bank, that's good. That's a cushion. Don't get me wrong. That's a freaking great cushion. Even if you got a hundred k, that's a cushion. But the interest that you're making is what really matters. If you put a hundred thousand in the stock market and you go up one percent, that's a thousand dollars. I don't think your bank is going to give you $1,000. I don't think your job is going to give you a freaking... In one year, I don't think your job is going to give you a 20% raise. And, and majority of jobs don't even want to pay the employees more. Like, because they're so cheap and they're so like... It's just very weird. Like, times I be living in is very, very weird, bro. You know? And it's, it's tough out here, bro. It's nothing, it's nothing to play around with. It's not no GTA video games. I get it when we was kids, we, we had our parents. Some of us, not everybody. Not everybody got parents that take care of them. But some of us had our parents that took care of us, made sure we was okay, got us everything we wanted. As you become an adult, you gotta realize that, bro, your parents ain't about to save you neither, buddy. They may be there for you, right? They may look out for you here and there, but you can't be dependent on your parents trying to make sure you're okay. Like, you gotta make sure that you're okay. You know, they may give you a place to stay. That's cool. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. I hate when people knock people that live with their parents. Who gives a fuck? Like, who cares? At least, at least their parents is looking out for them. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. But I will tell you how this. Like, financially wise, just learn how to be a uh, 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 financial steward to your income. You feel me? And like I said, we got to continue to focus on making more money. You know? Like, times is tough. Look at this. Right? It be tough out here. It get, it get gritty out here. Real talk. How you doing? How you doing? All right? It get, it get gritty out here for real. So, we got to constantly pay attention to, you know, like, just the times that we living in. Should get real. Um, but, yeah. Don't quit your job. Put some money into the, into the markets. Or learn to scale. Right? Um, I tell you all the time, man. Like, learn forex if you if you can. If you want to put it to work, a lot of people don't even want to put the reps in, but they want the results mad fast. It's kind of crazy to me. Like, do you think an NBA player just be like, "Oh, I want to go to the NBA," and then they don't put in no work? Or do you think like a person that's a profitable trader or a profitable investor, you think that you think that they not studying every day? It's a craft. Me personally. I'm a profitable investor. I be showing y'all. So, word. It took me some time to get there, but I'm still profitable. And I put in the reps. I put in the work. I'm consistent with it. I study, you know? And then I'm learning how to have better money, better, better money management skills. And that's what it really boils down to. Your money management skills. There's no cap on the amount of money that you can make subconsciously people put a cap on themselves because they are afraid of big numbers you gotta you gotta break out of that you gotta learn how to be okay with seeing big numbers 
writing down financial goals and then checking them off, you know? I'm about to go do this pickup right quick at McDonald's. McDonald's is so nasty too. I don't know how people still like this food, but make sure you get the video a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel, leave your comments below. Make sure you have retaining your essence too, staying away from porn, PMO, all right? And make sure also too, like I said, you own an essence. Free Discord, free Telegram chat will be in the, in the uh, comment section below. Let's keep growing the YouTube channel. I, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, bro. I really feel like we can reach 10K too. Like we almost there, we really right there, bro. But right now, we gotta focus on where we at, and I'm appreciative. It's your boy Terrence Carter, TC Talk, TC Fitness. Thank you, God. I love you, and I love my family, and I love you, my release. We out here. <laughs>